Bonk, bajonk. <laughs> All right, bajonk it is. So let's take a look at Hammer's options right here. We're gonna do some farming for Hammer. What hammers do we want to make? I'm probably not going to make any elemental hammers. We already have the Bishaten hammer, so this is what we're comparing against in terms of raw. So we have 120 attack with some green sharpness. Gotta make the teddy bear? I should, you're right. Alright, enjoy Sparkle Wolfie. I think I'm going to make this poison hammer just because. We have the gun hammer already. So I guess we did have an elemental hammer. We did make one. Maybe I should make elemental hammers? I don't know. Let's see. We have the frilled blow, which is 120 with green and 21 sleep. Can I see the teddy bear yet? I don't think I can. I have to go take a picture of a Arzuros first. All right. This is 130 with some blast. Sure. We're going to go ahead and make this. Love looking at weapon designs, dude. The weapon designs are the best. We'll definitely make Nagarkugas. I want to make um, Magnamalos just cause. Gosh, the Naga design is such a classic. Such a classic. Yeah, these are super solid weapons for, for low rank. That's so much green. Yeah, that's so much green. The ore one is nuts, is it? This one? 140 with green? How you doing tonight, Ken? Like Frenchie said. Slept a lot today? That sounds nice. When you enter high rank, at least I gotcha. Spazzing, I don't intend to enter high rank for probably another like few days, so... <laughs> it's gonna be a little while. We're going nice and slowly. So we're gonna make the Magnamala one, we're gonna make the Nargo one. I don't think I'm gonna make elemental ones, or at least not yet. I do maybe wanna make status ones. Status hammers are fun. We'll see, Frenchie. So the Rogi one, I wanna unlock the teddy bear one, so we should go and hunt an Arzuros. Probably hunt an Arzuros and get some Rogi high bulb or add it, couldn't we? Do I wanna make the Volvodon one? I guess we can, just for the sake of having a pair of hammer. Sure, why not? All right, I think that's the hammers I want to make. Volvodon hammer. Rogi hammer. This is such a cool one, though. I'm saving that just to compare it to the Arzuros one. Narga. Magnamala. Okay, that sounds like fun. Um, well, let's use a hammer. Let's go get a bear. missing only three insect waves, then you'll have all the insect waves upgraded as far as they go in low rank. That's nuts. This game makes it easy to do stuff like that, though. I see what they mean, where it seems like, from what I've seen, in low rank, the balance for gear seems to be that things cost a decent amount, that to make the base, the base upgrades of things doesn't take a lot of material, so it's easy to make the base upgrades of lots of different weapons. Some weapons share materials from lots of other monsters, so it does require you to go out and hunt other monsters. And then it seems like rare drops aren't especially plentiful, at least in low rank. So that seems to be the balance of things, which is kind of neat. All right, sleeping Arzuros, huh? If 
try and make a lot of Mala weapons, good luck with that. I'm going to. <laughs> I'm gonna try and make all of them, I think, just because they're cool. And they're the flagship weapons, you gotta. Rampage quests seem to have a higher rare drop chance based on your experience. I've only done one Rampage, I've only done the tutorial. I've been thinking about doing another one. We're gonna do some later this week. I think on Friday we're gonna do a multiplayer night like we were doing in 4 Ultimate. First hunt? This is not the first hunt of the night. We did a Zenogre and a Magnamalo already tonight. Rampage makes farming easy. Do you get a lot of materials from it? I hadn't noticed. You can sleep ammo R0 for this, so it was really easy. Yeah, I thought about bringing a sleep weapon of some sort and decided against it. We're gonna try and make him sleep the, the old fashioned way. There's our bear. Hmm. Looks like if you're not holding a direction when you do that level 2 charge, it doesn't take you as far. It's interesting. Which I think has been a thing for a while. I just didn't realize. It's kind of a little bear. Broke his arms. Learned something from Biotech stream earlier today, which is that first, or this this first hammer switch skill you unlock is this move where you can kind of fling yourself at the monster and it acts sort of like a rock steady. Whoops! If you let it go, it acts like a rock steady. If you hold your charge through that whole move, you get to keep your charge. So if I go ahead and I use this attack here, use it, and I keep my charge. Which is cool. That's a pretty nice way to get through some power through some attacks and hold your charge. Pretty nice. Whoops. Away he goes. If you let go, do you get more hits? Nope. If you let go, you just don't keep your charge. <laughs> the penny! The penny. Dude, he looks so good. His hair is so fluffy. <laughs> oh yeah, I learned another new thing from Biotech Stream. I'll show you guys in a little bit. If I can. Oh, well I'd forgotten about that move entirely. But what I learned from Biotech Stream was that... If you do the spin... And you do the golf swing... You can follow it up into a big bang, which I did not know, by just pressing A. That was an unknown combo to me, but that is a nice combo.
everything is beefy? Yeah, I'm surprised it's not limping yet. I'm trying, like, I guess I'm not trying too hard not to kill it, but I should be trying kind of carefully not to kill it. I think I'm actually going to fail this mount. I'm going to just launch it into space here. You don't like wide. Long requires a lot of dedicated skills. Normal feels the most worthwhile. That's kind of the impression I've gotten from the really brief testing I've had with it, Ken. I'm assuming it's going to limp soon. Do you like how it feels, Ken? Have you been enjoying playing normal, at least? Ow. They didn't say it's weak yet? Oh, right, right, right. So freaking cool. No, <laughs> went for the biggest, went for the biggest read. Yeah, I yet, I have, tr I have yet to try wide. I've tried a little bit of normal and a little bit of long. I'm just still hung up on it. Doesn't feel like for you, Gunlands. I just needed to spend some time with it and get over that. I haven't gotten over it yet. Now it's limping? Okay, we're gonna wait. I keep missing whatever you're seeing, Spazzy, to say that. I, I have not noticed the little, the little message on the side of the screen. I guess I should let it sleep, huh? You leave me alone. No, stop. Do I have dung bombs? I don't. Gosh darn it, leave me alone. I need, to take a I need to take a picture of a sleeping bear who's not falling asleep. <laughs> it's not falling asleep, it's coming back over to fight. What are you doing, bear? <laughs> Poor bear. That's kind of asleep. No, I know that didn't count, Haru. He wasn't sleeping. <laughs> he was falling over. Yeah, I think putting him to sleep manually makes more sense than doing what I'm doing here. Go sleep. Teleport to camp and then come back. He's so messed up. Poor bear. Okay, he's leaving now. We have to be a sneaky bear. A sneaky bear observer. You don't see me, I'm hiding. Okay, it's definitely limping.
<laughs> it does not want to go to sleep. I should have brought a sleep weapon. does not want to sleep. What are we trying to do? We're supposed to take a picture of a sleeping bear. It unlocks a weapon design. So I'm waiting for this weak bear to go sleep. You didn't see me, Rose Rose. Nope, you didn't see me. Oh, I can't hide behind the door. I think he sleeps over there. Yep, there we go. That's it. Why not cap it? I don't know. Hammer. Hammer hits heads. <laughs> so far, that's the only layered armor I've seen in the, in the game, apparently, is the layered armor from the Deluxe Edition. I haven't seen any layered armor from the game. It might be a later game feature, but I don't know yet, so I don't really want to know. Yeah, I like the side missions. <laughs> I brought you a sleeping barrel. You only wanted the picture. Yep, just wanted the picture. Let's check out the, the teddy bear. The teddy bear? My goodness, the teddy bear hammer. You really bought the picture for me. Oh, thank you. You really are the bestest. Wow. I always thought Arjo's were scary, but in this picture, it looks too fluffy to be scary. Thanks so much for the nice photo, Michelle. Oh, by the way, I heard Mas Mr. Mr. Hamlin, not Master Hamlin. I heard Mr. Hamlin and Mr. Nakago made a huge weapon that looks like a big fluffy bear. I told them that I wanted one, but they said I'm not old enough yet. Hey, if you want to see it too, you should go see them. Cool. I want to see what this one looks like. What a classic. Welcome back, Uchi. We just finished taking a picture of a sleeping bear. We're collecting hammers. Where's the bear? Guild tree? Needs warm pelt and herbs. So it's 110 with some green and 30 sleep versus 120 with some green and 21 sleep. The Somnicanth one looks cool too, so I might collect it anyways, honestly, especially because we can make it. I think we're gonna do both, yeah. I think we're gonna do both. So we need for that warm pelt and sleep herbs. You're trying your hardest not to pick up this game at the moment. I mean, I wouldn't tell you. I would not. I wouldn't tell you not to, Floey. I think it's pretty good. Okay. There's the Somnicanth hammer. All right. What else are we trying to make? We're trying to make the Roggy one. We just need some Roggy hide for that guy. That's easy. I got you, Floey. Yeah, I understand. Hey, did your artist? Well, let's go get the, some Nargakuga some materials. 
seeing as we're gonna make the Narga hammer. Narga Fang and Narga Black Fur. Fang is break the head and capture it. Black fur is just like anything. It drops a lot of them, so pick up shinies. Okay. We're going to use our new sleep hammer on it, I think. We're getting so many armor spheres. I haven't used a single one. <laughs> Check maybe if Narga's a rampage. It is. Should I try this? Could be cool. All right, I'll check it out. I've only ever tried the one rampage from the tutorial. I was not impressed, so we'll see. We'll see how I feel about this one. Definitely think rampages are significantly more fun in multiplayer. Mm -hmm, makes sense. I'm looking forward to doing them this Friday. I think this Friday we're gonna make an official multiplayer night. I'll try and put that out in an announcement on Twitter and in the Discord. I should at least try the, the solo rampage again. Once you get the high rank rampages, get a lot crazier and more fun. Good. I'll probably still be in low rank this Friday, so bring some low rank stuff. They're more fun than the tutorial. Okay, well, I will try them. I probably won't need traps for this, but whatever, I'll just bring it anyways. Good for variety, at least. Okay. Well, I'll try it out. Yep, yep, I know that much, Ken. Get swinging with the hammer, we will. Major threat, Great Izuchi. Okay. They already have some stuff set up for me, that's kind of nice. Okay, how many installations do I have? To, to place down. Oops. Okay, I have... How many installations? Does it say anywhere how many installations I can place down? Hmm. Can I place down all eight? Number in area? I can place down eight of these? Why would I want that many? <laughs> There's no total limit? Oh, okay, well, whatever. I guess they're coming in 50 seconds, so it's kind of like, how many can you place down? My goodness. Okay. There's the gong. All right, here we go. Akezu. I feel like I don't really like the gyro aiming for these as much as the regular. Is this the major threat? No, this is just a guy, right? Is that you retreated, retreated? I think the Kazu did too. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Interesting. I can envy a sub assignment if I wanted to, but that'd be silly and early, right?
Okay, the one retreated. Having fun farming? Yeah, Kanihi, so far we are. some more. Oh yeah, you can guard. I forgot you can guard with these things. Dunk the Kazu, it feels good. I didn't check my sub-quest missions, my sub-missions. Oh shoot, it broke the gate. No, it didn't, never mind. I think I'm missing. Okay, that one retreated. Oh hey, this leveled up, so my ballast of fire is more now. That's cool. Akvasom has appeared. Is that the major threat? I should have braced for that, I guess. The counter signal was fired. Alright, here we go. the place my goodness right, where's that acne song I missed it because it was too high up all right oh something got it is it dead no it's paralyzed Okay, now it's gone. Oh shoot, they did get through. I feel bad at this. Okay, he's leaving. The Agnesom just got freaking dunked. We can ride it, it says? Okay, let's do that. Forward X is this. Backwards X is that. Forward A is this. Okay, first horde repelled. I felt sloppy and bad. <laughs> Stronghold, level up. Major threat, Nargakuga and other monsters approaching. Just seems stressful. Yeah, we'll see. Um, I'm probably going to put down more auto guys, I guess. Okay, here's an auto guy. Here's an auto guy. Can I put down a better auto guy? Yeah, I can put down a defender cannon. Is this a good spot for the fire one? It might be, the Wyvern Fire Artillery. Okay. Remove this one. I really only want like one ballast stuff for myself, I think. I want to put Defender folks down in most of the other places, I think. Okay. 
Dragon bait or Fugen the other? Let's put Fugen down. There he is. Fugen heads into battle. Cool. That's kind of neat. All right, we have 30 seconds still. Whoops. I think I should re replace this with a new one. Ballista cannon, machine cannon. Let's put a machine cannon. And a cannon. And let's replace this with a new guy. There you go. Cool. Okay. Has your opinion on Rampage's stuff changed since you were doing it the first time? I'm not sure. This is my first time trying it since then. What the heck? That Pookie came out of nowhere. It's already dead, though. I think Fugen killed him immediately. Here comes Narga. Oh, this is cool. I need to brace. Uh-oh. Shoot. I should have left one of the regular cannons, I think. Where'd that Bizarrios go? Shit. <laughs> okay, I think he's dead. Is he dead? He's dead, okay. Don't place down hunters until you really need them. Fugin's a nuke? Oh, good to know. That Narga has explosives stuck in him. Okay, he's gone. Okay, it replaces it replenishes these with new ones when they break. That's good to know. This is the problem in solo. Multiple red enemies all focus you. Okay, so I probably should take down the red ones first and then deal with the other ones, but the other ones can get to other stuff first. Oh, Pookie. Hello, Pookie. Alright, Narga. Let's take down Narga first. Oh my god, this is a mess. I need to practice this. I thought that Pookie was gonna die already, but he he did not. Alright, now we need to take care of the Bizarrios, I think? Get off my gate! Oh god. <laughs> okay. Is this spinning wyvern shot? What the heck is this? No, I was supposed to attack him. There we go. Uh. <laughs> Get off the gate. This is such a mess. Go away. Okay, he left. Can I? Oh, I can place things down. Yamogi, go! What does Yamogi do? Yamogi's got a Gatling gun. Well, she did good. Good job, Yamogi. Okay. We made it to the end, I think. No, we have not made it yet. There's still multiples coming at me. I really can't deal with the red ones. Like, I don't know how. I need to get better at bracing, I guess. I think I'm hitting him. Yeah, I need to get better at bracing.
That and the gyro aiming really doesn't work with these. It works with the regular bow guns really well, but not with this. Oh, it's cluster. Whoops. Oh my god. Go swing? Oh, counter signal. I missed it. Okay. Oh, we have, we have the Pookie Pookie available. Okay. Come on. This is uh, quite the game mode. You can't target which monster you're going after? What is going on? <laughs> Game mode. Oh, thank you, thank you, Grim. I didn't realize that. That is not ready yet. Um, I gotta get this dude off the gate. Okay, I think he's gone. Yeah, he's gone. He's gone too. This thing looks like it's getting ready to die. I did it. In fairness, I think this is like the hardest low rank, hardest low rank one I could have done maybe. This is a five star one, I think it was. I did it. I can get better at those. I'm not gonna blame that entirely on that mode. They just vanish, it's pretty weird, man. A rank, apparently. Okay, what all do we get from this? Quite a few materials. I like to use the basic ballista for solo since it has such great crowd control options. Yeah, I didn't realize that. I replaced it with the cannons and if we just knife I shouldn't have. That was super scuffed. <laughs> but, in any case, I think we got the Narga materials we needed. We did. We're going to use this on um, Magna Malo, I think. Oh, it's so good to see this design. Oh, it's so good to see this design. <sighs> that was weird.
That mode was weird. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> Just tried hammer, you having fun with it? Really feel it's supposed to be a novelty for village? Okay. That just felt like sensory overload without much, like I, I could, I, <laughs> I don't know how close I was to losing there. It didn't feel like I was doing well, but I still finished just fine and got like a good rank, so. Liking it more as you play it. I'm still, yeah, I'm still reserving judgment on it. I'm still confused by it, but I'm still reserving judgment. Gotten very close to losing that, wasn't it? The harder ones are harder by a significant margin. Okay. Hopefully by the time they get actually harder, I will get, I'll, I'll have gotten better at dealing with it because that felt like a mess, like just a mess. Okay, what do we need for that? Actually, I didn't even look at my wish list to see what I need for it. It's not the Rocky Hammer, it's the Sinister Hammer. I need Scoot. How do you get Scoot? It's so nice you can look this up in the game. So cool. Scoot. 80% chance from breaking its back. Interesting. Okay. 19% chance from capture. So we want to capture it and maybe pick up Shinies. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. No, it's okay, Nikochi. I pretty much felt like that just then. It did not feel like sort of physically possible for me to actually do all the things the game wanted me to do there. Between like setting up new armaments and attacking the red ones so they wouldn't attack me and keeping the blue ones off the gates and dealing with the green ones floating up in the air. It's just a lot for one person. So I don't I don't blame you. Thanks for sharing. Those rocky hide. Shoot. Okay, there we go. So if you leave a wire bug, then you can go ahead and you can use that. Can you blow it up on him? Yeah. Okay, I see it now. I see it now. Should probably look at his impact zones. Cool. Where'd those rocky go? Shoot, I think the rocky died. Gosh darn it. I needed those rocky hide. Do you have to attack it to hurt him with it? Yeah, it's like a blast cloud that you can blow up in front of him, from what I can tell. Oh, there's a rocky. The other one's like, what the heck?
There we go. Cool. Ronky hammer's ready to go. I guess I can hold that charge next time, can't I? I missed that. This music's good. Yep, I still have a lot of work to do to get used to how he moves around. first there. Well, he's got so many moves. So many moves. Darn it. That didn't come out quick enough. I was going to try and be fancy and use that to power through one of his attacks, but nope. Dang it. The potion. I should have canceled the potion. He is tired. What was he doing? What a weirdo. He doesn't seem tired. He was just standing there, I think. I mean, he is tired. We're good. I have no idea what this thing can do. Hey, you can roll its roar. That's good to know. There we go, finally. What an interesting fight. I think that's one of the better ways they can back broke and kill him. Did I break the back? I didn't see him. I didn't see myself break it. I think that's one of the better ways they can add diff difficulty to monsters in this new age of Monster Hunter is by adding increased move sets or increasing the move pool size. Yeah, I guess the back bars, that back does look broken. You're right, Ken. Yep, going back from blue to yellow iMac, we puts you at level three, so you can go straight into a max charge of that wire bug art. It's really nice. 
He does that move twice. Let's get out of the corner. Nope. Just kind of batting on him turning around. <laughs> Visual effects on his on his like hellfire is really cool looking. Okay, what are we gonna do here? Already broken his back. Decided to play all the way through GU again. Nice. I hope you have fun. Oof. Dodge directly into that. Dang it. Dead. I could have probably jumped out of the way a little further and I didn't quite get it out. <laughs> I like that he has air combos. It's kind of cool. I really don't feel like I'm learning this fight quite yet. I feel quite lost still. But that's okay. We got time. This hammer seems to be doing pretty decent work. I'm happy with that. I like the Narga hammer a lot. One of my favorites. Any, Honestly, any of the Narga weapons are some of my favorites, just because of how much time I spent with them in Freeman Night. Dude, Aknasam is going to town on him. Sure. Get him, Aknasam. We'll take some extra shinies. There's our skew. Nice. Good stuff. Need a couple more though. This 
this is dumb. Okay, that move doesn't have hyper armor until you get into the actual move itself. Good to know. That sucks. Gosh, that's an awful place to be for that. Just awful. Guess I shouldn't hang out in the corridor. got so many moves. <laughs> okay, didn't die that time. out of it quick enough so I was just a level one charge my bad this fight is a real slugfest even in low rank I like it good hunt good hunt all right I should capture him if I want more chance at scoots I think his most impressive move is probably that purple vortex he uses with his tail shooting forward it really looks cool doesn't it I think the most difficult move to deal with is some of those combinations where he jumps up into the into the sky and comes down at you. What are you doing, buddy? Music's awesome. Kajow, please don't lose me this. Thank you. Whew. Cool. We got at least one of the scoots we needed. Might be two more there. Nope, that's Blade. Okay, the Scutes are these ones. So we need one more of those, I think. Okay. Whoop! <laughs> Overshot that a little bit. Volvodon, we need one more paralysis sack, which I bet we can get from Volvodon. I think we can make this guy now. We just need to go ahead and make another ore hammer. Holy crap, we have so much ore. Whoops.
Warm pelt and sleep herbs. One more scoot. Nice. Doing good with collecting hammers. I wonder if we've unlocked the next switch skill for it. Let's see. We have, yes. Nice. Yo, Ace, I see you've been experimenting with all sorts of different weapons, huh? Seeing as you're working so hard, got some new switch skills to teach you. Charge switch courage. A special action affecting charge attacks. Lengthens required charge time, but allows for more powerful actions. A special action that checks affects charge time. It decreases charging levels, but allows you to follow from one charge into another more quickly. How do you know when to upgrade armor and weapons? I mean, you can do them if you just want to be stronger, or you can do it if you're having a hard time. I'm just doing it for fun right now. I don't really think I need to farm up a bunch of stuff, but I'm just enjoying it. This switch skill is weird. Try it out in the training area. Okay. Okay, so we know what regular hammer is like. So I think this is just like the, the stance, right? Yeah, so this will be normal. With this. Okay, so this is normal. stronger. Charge, release, charge, release, charge. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Turns hammer into some kind of a combo weapon. That's bizarre. That's really odd. Huh. Me too, Dragon on Fire. I really like it as well. Huh. So it's those three. Does this stay stored? It does. Okay. Huh. So you can combo this. Combo this. It almost feels like a true charge slash kind of flow, almost. There's additional hits there. Yeah, there's two hits to the final. Interesting. Very interesting. The really interesting thing about this, too, is you can always switch back out and then have your regular hammer play style, too. So that's kind of cool. I don't mind that. Because you can still play regular hammer. And then if you feel like doing whatever that is, you can always switch and then start doing this crazy stuff. Huh. When you come out, you still have your full charge too. Yeah. 
I'm kind of mystified. <laughs> hey, Triple X. Hey, J Duke. Does anyone know where to get quality wyvern eggs? I don't. The key to courage style is blue charge. More extra hits. It's actually the strongest charge attacks if utilized and built for, to your knowledge. It's also ironically slower. So how are they the strongest? Just they're by motion, or are they just the strongest? This seems neat. This seems like it'd be neat for like, smacking it, waiting, getting another hit, waiting, going again. Seems neat. We'll try it out next time we go on a hammer hunt. I think we'll probably do a Volvodon here in a minute. Motion is slightly weaker, but at blue stage they have an extra hit and both hits have boosted elemental mods. Really? How can you tell they have boosted elemental mods? Have people already done the, the data mining or like the testing on that? It makes it fun for an elemental hammer, I guess, because you're hitting a lot more often. That's cool. Good for status and element, I guess. That's really neat, Vio. Hmm. Well, thanks for sharing. That's cool. All right, well, what's Volvodon weak to? I'm pretty sure he's weak to fire, isn't he? No, <laughs> not even close. <laughs> he's, he's weak to um, water and thunder and ice. <laughs> I guess it wouldn't make sense. It's a bit awkward and slow. You need to be able to focus it because the charge is tremendously slow. Level one blue is basically worthless, but two and three is really bonkers. So when you say level one blue, you mean this. This is level one blue. This is level two blue. This is level three blue. That doesn't feel that slow to me. Okay, maybe it's kind of slow. But if you wanted to be quick about it, you could spam through these two and then get to blue. Or you could just spam through this first one and then get to the second one. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. I don't think so, Nebulous Verge.
I'm guessing that Volvodon gives us paralysis sacks. Paralysis sacks. Pretty sure. Let me double check on the hunter's notes. Yep. Just from carves and capture rewards. Actually, capture would be better for him. Hi, Ice Tea. out this hammer. He's weak to thunder at least a bit, so we're going to use that. Weaker to water and ice, I think, but this should be interesting to see if we can use this new play style. How goes Rise? Rise goes well tonight, FPS failure. We're collecting weapons. I collected some dual blades earlier today. Right now we're collecting hammers and we're trying out the next hammer switch skill, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. This game is just weapon collecting heaven. I'm having a good time so far. I've only done two weapons. Seems neat that as we collect each one, we're going to get the chance to try out how that weapon plays. Or like how that weapon's new switch skill plays. Okay. Oh. You can't get hit while you're doing this stuff. <laughs> Easy to get hit though in the middle of that combo, huh? It does charge quite slowly, doesn't it? It does seem like the rares are rare in this game, doesn't it? Am I stunned? Oh my goodness. Chill, Volvodon. My goodness. I have a question. You don't swear often. Do you force yourself not to, or you just not have a natural inclination to? Um, I swear a lot more in other contexts of my life. I think when I talk to myself, I swear a lot more. And at work, I generally swear a lot more, just because that's a context I've gotten used to swearing in, but I like not swearing on stream on purpose. Oh god, dude, what that messes me up in this game? You need fast charge for this? I'm trying it out without it. I don't understand how the bats work, no. Interesting, you can roll with the charge too. Nope, I didn't mean to do that. That's okay. I've seen them on another monster, Uchi. 
I've seen them attached to Rathalos and um, another monster that was in this area as well. God darn it. <laughs> this thing gives me such trouble. Hey, Huntsinghorn user, try not to talk about stuff that we haven't seen yet in the game, if you don't mind. Thanks. Unless you're talking about World Girototus, in which case, yeah, sure. I agree. Oh, I should sharpen first. You got on your nerves? I gotcha. Even still. Focus does feel like it would jive well with this play here, with this play style, huh? This is definitely interesting. Dang it. Me too, Uchi. Me too. I'm frustrated with him because I'm getting hit by a Volvodon and it feels bad, but it feels nice that he's actually a threat. Okay, cool. You can still do this. I didn't realize. Good, Yumu. I'm glad. Welcome. getting it down. I like this. This is a really interesting way to play Hammer. A really interesting way to play Hammer.
Wow, he has turned around really fast, I think. Can I go up there? I want to go sharpen. <laughs> I can. Cool. See you in a minute, Volvodon. <laughs> Alright, he peaced out. He was like, okay, you're leaving, I'm leaving. <laughs> Yeah, this switch go for hammer seems really neat. Really, really neat. Like, the fact that you can switch from your... Like, normally, the the power charge or the strong charge hammer and the regular hammer feel kind of just like the same thing. Having them feel so drastically different is very, very interesting, I think. I'm having fun playing around with it, that's for sure. Okay, time to find our way over to Mr. Volvodon here. What's up there? I don't know if I've ever been up there before. A passageway. Okay, does this connect through? Can I get through here? Where does this go? Not to where I want to go, I don't think. What about the other way? Does this go where I want to go? Maybe? Maybe not? Uh, I think it does. It does. Yep, this is cool. I like this play style. Carefully, though. Yeah, I find Volvodon actually quite challenging in this game, which is kind of like humbling, but fun. No, that was my good charge. Same way in World Crystal. Are they are they even faster than World? The slowest roll got me. They're even faster in Rise. Great. Like almost instantaneous. That's how they felt in World to me. So if they're even faster, that's just great. Is that spoiler warning on a timer? It is on a timer, yes. It's not reacting to anything said in chat. It's just on a timer, yeah. I can probably start to turn it down. We're gonna get rid of the spoiler warning soon enough. But for now, I'll leave it in. How do you make Gargus drop eggs in this game? I don't know. That 
has a nice finisher. Yeah, you're fine, Rebel Without a Cause. You can answer. Totally, totally. I don't consider making Gargwood drop eggs a spoiler. <laughs> Thank you for asking. Ah, use the throwing knives. Or hit them from behind, yeah. That was a nice finisher. I like the style of great or great sword. I like the style of hammer. I don't even know if it needs focus. I'm sure focus would make it feel a lot more insane. I like it though. This is cool. Really cool. Feels super fresh. Cool. Thanks, Kazubop. What a great hammer. <laughs> I guess that means we have a reason to collect some elemental hammers. Best of luck, Fog. Have you played Dual Boys much? I've played them a bit. I collected a bunch of them up earlier. I've played them a decent amount. They're one of the weapons I've played a little more of. All right, I think at this point, we're gonna go ahead and switch things up to another weapon 